I don't remember Nick from, because we went to the same Greek school as well, which oh, was wow. separate to the, the primary school. But I served Nick as a waitress. When really? I graduated from acting school, I went to uni and um, got a Bachelor of Arts and I majored in performing arts. Mm -hmm. And my uni was in Geelong. Nick, at the same time, was finishing his VCA, Victorian College of the Arts, acting degree. Mm -hmm. And Chris was doing the writing. And um, I, like most actors, had to get a job as a waitress because that's part of it, isn't it? It's not like character work. It's like necessity. It's called, you know, eating yeah. and wearing clothes Surviving. and driving a car. <laughs> so he walked in and it was not a groovy place. It was in St Kilda, but it was pretty ordinary. And I served him. And he said, you look familiar to me. And I thought, oh, God, you're joking. It's the most cliche. And he was right. So, yeah, we, you know, he said, we went, yep. I know you. I mean, and then we worked out, well, he did, because mm -hmm. he's got an incredible memory, that we went to primary school together in the same Greek school and grew up around the corner wow. from each other. And then he said, what are you doing? Like, he knew that perhaps I wasn't a competent, act, uh, you know, waitress. I said, I've just graduated from acting school. He said, so did I. I'm like, is wow. this a joke? Is this like candid camera? Um, so then, yeah, um, Nick, you know, together with Simon Palomaris had the great idea to do Wogs Out of Work and I joined the show at some point and wrote my own characters and I based Effie on a character I performed in that show called Poppy and Poppy led a double life. She was the good Greek girl at home and then at night she would crawl out of her window and go and, you know, have the life that she really wanted. And so Effie was based on that character. But Effie, by the time Acropolis Now happened, she'd become more animated, more theatrical, and, and you know, the visual came together really brilliantly. Um, and then, you know, like, it sort of hit straight away. You know, it became very apparent that Effie was someone that people could relate to. Mm, so definitely. it was born out of um, something that I'd witnessed in mm -hmm. my cousins because I we, we got thrust into the white middle class, my brother and I, which was not a happy period for me particularly. There's a lot of racism and bullying and, mm -hmm. you know, that was really hard going from Collingwood. That was so multicultural and inclusive and everyone was different. Yep. It was all great and we're all working class. Mm -hmm. And then you go into the middle class and you go into the suburbs and people lock themselves away every night and who's got what and the comparisons and you don't look the same and you don't fit here and what is it with that and how come you yell and why are you you know why do you wear that and why does your mum and so that was a very very challenging time for me and I think that part of me um, made a decision in all that as I often do when you know all of us do in trauma or you know in the most challenging times you make some decisions mm -hmm. you know hopefully they're healthy but for me, and luckily they were. And I just thought, I'm just, I can't become invisible. I can't change the way I look. This is who I am. I'm okay with that. Don't know why they're not okay with it. Yeah. I thought something good will come out of this. I had a really strong feeling that something good would come out of it. So when I went and studied acting, when I finished um, I'd gone to a coffee shop in Ligon Street and it was the 80s and I'd overheard a conversation between some girls and I heard the accent okay. and I didn't want to get out of the cubicle like I was like I'm staying here I've got to listen to this I loved it <laughs> Wow. I loved it because it's the cross between the Yobbo accent and the broken English that you would hear at home from yeah. your parents or you know like to me it was like a marriage of those accents mm. so I came out and of course they had the big hair and of course they had the industrial size hairspray and they were talking about <laughs> rubbish but to me it might as well have been Shakespeare yeah and I just thought I've got to do this yeah. and that's how Effie was 